toughest and biggest, most gorgeous hydrangea, which are called limelights, a favorite of both Phillips and mine. Okay, so I'm collecting all of my cards here, you guys, so I'm gonna put them over here. Thank you. Okay, so we have these delicious blueberries in the show. Oh my gosh. Lord of mercy. Now, I'm gonna have to say, when, uh, years ago, when uh, Philip was here with Cottage Farms, I bought some blueberries from him, which are still in my garden, and they look spectacular. But these get, they're big. They're big shrubs now. Um, I love blueberries because they always start out with little white flowers, then you get fruit during the summer, then you get these flaming gorgeous red leaves in the fall. So these are going to do that same thing, but the difference is you get what's called a dwarf plant. So these are only going to get two by two feet. And again, they stay very tidy, they stay rounded, but you're going to get tons of berries, despite the fact that these don't get really, really big. So five yes. payments of $5.99 and a brand new variety. Tell us about these dwarf top hats. Well, sweetheart, let me just go, go back to the science again. Is it, I work with the science to get the beauty and the productivity mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about the science. It's all about making the better plant. And we go to the horticulturists that have done this. And that's where we got the top hat blueberry. Blueberries used to be like the butterfly bushes, kind of all over the place mm -hmm. and kind of a mess in the garden. These only get two feet tall and two feet wide, but they're densely fruited. They have lots and lots of fruit on these. And I love the large berries. You've got the three seasons of color. You've got the white blossoms in the springtime you have got the beautiful blueberries all summer. And then in the fall, the foliage turns fire engine red, mm -hmm. like the color of that pot. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. just crazy. Just when I ship them out to you, they're dormant mm. and you can have all this kind of fruit. And these days, I'm just telling you, Good. where the supply chains are kind of peculiar, I have got, am gonna eat that I can't peel. I wanna make sure I know where it came from. Only right. my hands have touched this. These are just delicious. I mean, everybody is so into growing their own fruits and vegetables now. It's like a huge hobby for a lot of people that um, if you didn't already love doing it, a lot of you decided you're going to do it over this past year and a half of being home so much and shortages in the stores and all that kind of stuff. So uh, blueberries are so good for you. They're full of antioxidants. You know, the darker the fruit, the better it is. That's what your doctor will and tell you. And they're just delicious. Uh, and they're absolutely delicious. So eat them just a handful. Eat them um, in a fruit salad. Put them on top of your breakfast cereal or on top of some ice cream. Make some preserves. Make a pie. You will absolutely yeah. love it. And all, any of the ones that you miss and forget to pick, the birds will love them too. So you never have to tidy up after this plant. I want to show you this is what you're getting. So again, a half gallon size pot. So look at this. It's already ready to go. It's uh, got foliage. It's got flowers. Uh, you're going to plant this where, Philip? Does it like the sun or the shade, full or sun. does it matter? The, the blueberries like the full sun. Okay. My, my dad grew them down in Mississippi. Uh, the only and they're extremely cold hardy, but they do need a frost. So if you live in an area okay. that that doesn't get frost, they're not for you. In other words, all the way down to the Mississippi coast in northern Florida, but not much further south than that, okay. or in desert areas. But because it's a nice, beautiful, tidy plant, and that's pretty much been the, the theme of the show today. Tidy plant, high productivity of blooms or fruit. This mm -hmm. can go with your other things. Like if they, you've got dwarf pyreas, they're beautiful with that. You can put it in with your flowering shrub border. And it's just another big plus in there because this will have the blooms, the fruit, and that fiery foliage. I love it. Just that. picture Philip Watson's blueberry preserves with a little gingham lid. That would be so cute. Yes, exactly. Uh, and, and put up by Carolyn Gracie. I'm <laughs> bringing them over to you. <laughs> we need to put a picture of me with that crazy hat you made for me that time. We'll put that on the label. I think so. um, but I have to tell you, um, uh, this picture that's coming up, are we going to show this next picture? So there's your foliage. Look at that red foliage. It looks, it looks like a Japanese maple tree or something. Look at that. It is uh, really beautiful because it will rival anything else. And think about any flowering shrub you've got that gives you that kind of foliage that'll be down low. So it adds a whole nother dimension. Just crazy beautiful. Yeah. Great, great fruit production on these. Densely fruited. And um, this is your chance to have a nice ornamental edible. Right. And uh, a shrub that looks gorgeous even when it's not growing fruit, which is great. It's not just green. So stay in the ordering right. process for those. Uh, these are new and you're getting it for five payments of $5.99 with free shipping. Don't forget berries all summer long. 
So here's my Facebook post, and uh, this was just promoting uh, all the things in the show today, but see that tree in the bottom left? See, that's my front door to the right of that tree. That is a limelight hydrangea. Hello, and there's another one just that big <laughs> on the other side of my front door. So, I mean, you wouldn't believe how spectacular those look in the front of my house. And that started out the size of what Philip is shipping to you, and it has been living like that for years. They're very